Let's talk about Brendan Fraser, the man, the myth, the meme. Now, you probably remember him as a dude who was shirtless more than a 2000s boy band member or as a guy who made dodging ancient curses look like a light workout. Behind those blockbuster hits and the meme-worthy moments, Frazier has had a story more epic than all three Mummy movies combined. Yes, even that last one. In this video, we're going to be taking a quick look at the iceberg of Frazier's weird movies ah the 90s a simpler time 7-eleven was cool big slurpees remember those yeah and we're also all convinced that cargo pants were cool and that brendan fraser could do no wrong i mean seriously this man was everywhere so ah! that's not right and let's be real, we loved every single minute of it, baby. And personally, I have to thank Brendan Fraser. Yeah, he made me believe that I could totally survive an ancient Egyptian curse and beat a mummy. But it wasn't just the abs and it wasn't just the action. Fraser had the very, very rare ability to make us laugh, cry, and cheer all within a single movie. He was actually the guy that could take on ancient evils one minute and then be a weird cartoonist in another. And then just like that, he he was gone, just like the Avatar, when you needed him most. I mean, one minute, he was headlining every single summer blockbuster. The next, crickets. And of course, the internet did what it does best. It does best, does best? I don't know. It makes memes. Where's Brennan became the new Where's Waldo? And trust me, Waldo had a better chance of being found. But you know what? It's actually time to get serious. Let's cut the jokes for a second, because while the world was wondering where our avatar went, Brennan was off screen fighting battles we didn't even know about, and you didn't even ask. From his personal struggles to injuries that would make a lesser man throw in the towel, Frazier was dealing with more drama than a season finale of The Bachelor. Only this wasn't for ratings. It was real life. <laughs> But you know what? Here's the thing about Brendan Fraser. He's like that one friend who leaves a group chat for a while and then comes back and then he shares all the stories and you're like, dude, where have you been? <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, okay. Okay, then give me a second to find you here. And you know what? I'll put money on this. He didn't just come back. He came back with a vengeance. And this time he wasn't just swinging from trees or dodging CGI mummies. Brendan Fraser. The whale. My goodness. He was given performances, man, that made critics go from, wait, Brendan Fraser is still acting? To give this man an Oscar or two. And I know that you and I were here for it. This was Fraser's army rooting for this guy from the ground up. Dairy group. Look, Duds. You hide these under your pillow, bro, so your mom doesn't find them. If she does, you're twig, buddy. Uh Brendan Fraser, an actor who swung into the hearts of all 90s, only to dive headfirst into some of the most unforgettable movies Hollywood ever produced. And this is an iceberg video, so we're not talking about the action-packed mummy, which, God, it's awesome, or the even wholesome laugh of George of the Jungle. Oh no, today we're venturing into the wonderfully odd and Wait, did I just watch that? Kind of side of Brendan Fraser's career. Buckle up because things are about to get a little wild. First up, we have Monkey Bone. It's a personal favorite. It's gotta be on top, but it's pretty recognizable. It's a movie that feels like it's conceived of a fever dream or maybe after someone had too many energy drinks. I was drinking a little amps for too much. I have, I have like heart problems from it or something. I don't know. Brendan Fraser stars as a cartoonist who gets trapped in a nightmarish world where creations come to life. And by creations, I mean the hyperactive monkey with a taste for trouble. Yeah, it's a, it's as bizarre as it sounds. Imagine the Who Framed Roger Rabbit, but if Roger was seriously into chaos and really, really, really inappropriate jokes. That's Monkey Bone in a nutshell. It's a film that makes you wonder what kind of brainstorming sessions led to this fucking creation. My guess, lots of caffeine, maybe a dare. On the next list of Frazier's most wonderful films is Bedazzled, where he plays a guy so desperate for love he makes a deal with the devil. Literally. I guess if I said that, it is literally, right? And who plays the devil? Of course, Elizabeth Hurley. And uh, strutting around in outfits that make you kind of question, what's the dress code? But the real fun of this film starts when Frazier's character gets seven wishes. Seven. Each one wilder than the last. On one minute, he's a giant, sensitive dude sobbing over sunsets. And the next, he is a Colombian drug lord with an accent, so thank you. Probably needs subtitles. Honestly, this movie is kind of like a masterclass and careful what you wish for. It's like that monkey paw thing where 
you go, hey, I want to lose 100 pounds and you lose like half your body. I mean, really, if there's a movie that showcases Frazier's talent for wild and unpredictable, this is it. Well, you know, you go out there and you give 110 percent and you want to play good. Uh, I mean, who else could pull off playing a dork, a devil's plaything, a narcissist basketball star in the same film? I'm I'm waiting, actually. If you can name another film like that, I would love it. <laughs> On to our next film, Dudley Do Right. Now, this was a, this was a weird one. It was out of Frazier's thing that I thought he was, and it's great because if you thought that he couldn't get any stranger, he dons a mounty uniform and rides a horse named Horse. Who goes there? What? Oh, what? Based on the classic cartoon, this film is what happens when you make slapstick comedy with a plot that kind of feels like it was made up on the spot with a bunch of kids playing. And it's a role that Frazier fits like a glove, mostly. If the glove don't fit, you must acquit, but it did in this case, and he commits 110%. The film is pure, unfiltered goodness. It's something you can watch with the kids. It's nice. It's filled with love interest who's just as confused as the rest of us about why she's even there. But here's the thing. Dudley Do-Right knows it's ridiculous and it leans all the way in. It's a trust fall video that you've seen. And Frasier at the helm, you can't help but laugh along with the madness. It's not really a movie trying to win Oscars, and that's what's so beautiful about it. It's just here to make you smile. And really, who doesn't want a little more of that in your life? Okay, a time for a sharp left where things turn a little bit serious in the strangers department with a passion of darkly noon. If you thought Brendan Fraser was all about lighthearted comedy and action, uh, think again, bucko. This film is, well, let's just say not for the faint of heart, right? I don't know who you are. It's dark, it's intense, and it's one of those movies that leaves you scratching your head long after the credits roll. Fraser plays a man named Darkly Noon, yes, that's his real name, who's been raised in a religious cult and ends up lost in the woods We've all been there, right? Where things get, well, progressively stranger. The film is, uh, well, let's just say, with Frazier at the helm, delivering a performance that's equal parts haunting and heartbreaking. It's an awesome role that shows just how deep Frazier can go when he's not busy battling mummies or dodging cartoon monkeys. It is a far cry from the lighthearted fare that we're used to, but it's a fascinating glimpse into Frazier's range as an actor. Plus, it's proof that even when things get seriously strange, Brendan Fraser can still hold his own. Like that, right? Because you're a caveman. Oh, buddy. <laughs> the beverage. In this freaking chef's kiss, Fraser plays a caveman who gets thawed out in modern day California and naturally hijinks ensue. It's a very classic fish out of water story, but with more grunting and fewer clothes. Fraser's character Link is basically a walking, talking time capsule. And if you've ever seen time capsule, pretty awesome to see one anyways. And watching him navigate the strange world of 90s high school is pure comedy gold. Whether he's learning to eat pizza or trying to blend in a school dance, Fraser's physical comedy is on full display here. It's silly. It's goofy. It's the exact kind of fun we signed up for when we hit that play button. And have you ever had a friend that just makes you laugh? Their laugh makes you laugh. That's what this movie did for me. But Encino Man isn't just about the laughs. So if you have a caveman that thaws out, you need to accept him and be friendly. A plus, it's actually the movie that introduced the world to Frazier's unique brand of quirky charm. So really, you gotta owe big things to that block of ice. The filmography with Brendan Fraser is a treasure trove of unforgettable moments. It's a collection of movies that prove this guy isn't afraid to take risks, even if those risks involve playing a Mountie, a caveman, or a guy who gets his soul stolen by a cartoon monkey. Whether he's making us laugh, making us cry, or making us say, what did I just watch? Frazier's carved out a place in Hollywood that's as unique as the roles he's taken on. Whatever is next for Mr. Brendan Frazier, I'm here for it. I hope he gets to do something that he loves because the movie truly, truly shows it. And if you're here for it, uh, I made a little video about a mysterious character in the Rings of Power. I think I kind of nailed it down, <laughs> okay? Because this next journey is gonna take us on the naming of who the stranger is. Okay, bye.